Many Canadians obviously struggling with finances this time of year and uh, during the pandemic that has just exacerbated uh, money woes for many people. And you may be considering debt consolidation to help with your credit cards or other bills that uh, are just piling up right now. But there are a number of ways you can actually do that. For more on that, we're joined by our good friend Blair Manton, licensed insolvency trustee. Blair, good to see you and uh, welcome back to BT. Good morning. My pleasure to be here. All right. So a lot of people think it's just as simple as going to the bank, getting a loan, and then using that to pay off your credit cards or whatever mounting debt you have. But there are a number of ways you can actually go about debt consolidation. Yeah, absolutely, Thor. So the first way is just exactly what you mentioned. That's what most people think about when they say debt consolidation. Is they go to the bank, um, they sign for a new loan, they pay everybody else off, and then they pay that bank back, usually at a lower interest rate. So that's the most common thing people think about. But that can be pretty difficult to qualify for if you don't have a whole lot of assets. Uh, or if you don't have a co-signer, and that can be risky. Uh, you know, a couple other ways, you know, one is to use your home equity. So when people say, you know, they refinance their mortgage, that's usually what they mean. They borrow more money against their house to consolidate other high interest debt. And, you know, a third way can be, again, borrowing, but doing a balance transfer uh, on a credit card. Maybe you got a low promotional interest rate for a period of time. And you put a few balances together. And borrowing the key word there that you were mentioning, but you can actually consolidate your debt without having to borrow. So tell us about those options as well. Yeah, that can come as a big surprise to a lot of folks. So two ways you can do consolidation without borrowing. Uh, one is to consider working with a credit counselor. And this is a situation if you just owe a little bit of debt, you're able to pay everything off in full, but you need a break on an interest. That's what a, on the interest charges. That's what a credit counselor will be able to do for you. Uh, another way that a lot of people don't know about, but it's incredibly powerful, is to file a consumer proposal. And that's where you pay off what you can afford to pay off. And usually it's maybe a third, maybe it's a quarter of the debt. You pay no interest charges. You can deal with your government debt, with your student loans, and you actually pay no fees at all. You just pay back what you can afford to repay on the debt. The trustee gets a piece of that, but you don't pay anything extra. So it's, it's something that can be really affordable if consolidation seems out of reach. Okay, some good advice there. Now, I guess the common issue for a lot of people is they've got that mounting credit card debt and they think, I could just consolidate this, but it's a lot more complex than that. It uh, depends on how you plan it, how you go about it. So what are some other great tips you can offer us for consolidating your debt? You know, one first thing is just to make sure you understand all of your options. So even if the bank will approve you, you know, make sure you can afford those payments and compare them against a consumer proposal. You know, consumer proposal is often a third of the cost. It's a fixed payment. Uh, it's going to be something that's going to allow you to have a little bit more room in your budget. Um, you know, a second thing that's critical is to make sure you stop using credit. I've worked with a number of people. They consolidated all their debt, but then the other cards, they weren't zero after a year again. They were back up. Um, because they hadn't actually dealt with the underlying, um, you know, thing that was causing the issue. I'm glad you mentioned that. And let's just touch on that with our final point with the uh, services and the advice that you bring. You need to attack the problem at its root. If you just keep going through that vicious cycle of using the card over and over again, you're not really going to get to the uh, root issue of what's causing the debt in the first place. Yeah, absolutely, Thor. So one of the most core things we do, and we spend a lot of time on it, uh, is providing financial counseling sessions. So anybody that does a consumer proposal, they meet with us a number of times to talk about the core issue, to work on their budget, to really understand that this can be a permanent solution. But if you don't solve the underlying issue, um, you don't want to consolidate and then have to consolidate again and again, either erode your home equity or do a proposal after a proposal. So really dealing with the core issue is the most important thing that we do at Sands & Associates. All right, Blair, give people the uh, website if they want more information. Yeah, it's sands-trustee.com. Lots of great information on there, and you can book a consultation right online or meeting everybody by Skype, by telephone, by Zoom these days, giving a lot of help during the pandemic. All right, we appreciate your advice as always, and thanks so much. We'll talk soon. Thank you. My pleasure.